guys ready to party with these in black? I need more energy than that. You guys ready to party with these in black? Everybody up, everybody up, let's go. I need everyone on their feet, let's go. Make some noise if you're ready to jump. Everybody get your hands in the air. Here we go. I wanna fly, 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 fly away, way, far, far way, away, way from this place, place. Where nobody can bring me down, 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 down. When 
nobody can bring me Banana, down. Banana, you make some noise. I want to fly, 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 fly away, away. Far, far away Wait. from this place when nobody can bring me down. Damn, damn. When nobody can Are you bring ready? Me down. One, two, three, jump, jump. The light we shine on It's a delight we cry on With joyful tears I know a place away from here Here I wanna go, I wanna know what's my purpose, Tachlis. I wanna glow, I wanna show my inner greatness, not fear. Nobody knows my pain, but I'm ready to make a change. Thus, here's my heart of anger, replace it, rearrange it. See, I need freedom for me to be all I can be. Him look from heaven and see, I chose to leave here to me. Fly, fly away, far, far away from this place where nobody can bring me. The moment to make a blanket statement But I changed my mind, I can't believe I'm on a quest for greatness But now I'm learning patience Then the shama inside Is filled with many places A mikdash may I Lifting the curtains up Breathing, seeing the inner spot The inner chamber, my heart is racing My only thought is to hold to this moment And then to let it be That place I was looking to be Was here inside of me Fly away, far, far away from this place where nobody can bring me down. Bring down, bring down, bring down. Nobody can bring me down. Let me see those wings. I wanna fly, fly away, far, far away from this place where nobody can bring me down. Bring down, down, down. Nobody can bring me down. Now everybody sing along. Let me hear you say. One more time, Manhattan MJE. Make some noise. Shout out to Rabbi Wild, you know. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing, you're amazing. Shout out to whoever the chef was or the caterer. The food was delicious in the back, by the way. Everybody put one thing in the air, one thing in the air. No, no sitting down. Come, I, I, I don't sit down, you don't sit down. That's my rules. The day you see me up here with a cheer, then that's when you can sit down. All right, let's rock. Right now we're gonna crown the king. You guys can help me crown the king. You guys know who the king is? Hashem is the king. We're gonna crown the king. You ready? We take this one finger and we put it high up in the sky, high up in the sky. And we're gonna tell Hashem, you are the king of the world. King of the world, the real king of the world. Let me know you guys are ready. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna take your wave it back side to side like this. Hey, you're the king of the world. Hey. Myself, you the maker of the world, and really they ain't nothing else. You kingship, the throne, the ruler, alone. 
He searching for truth, and he body he on minds. Everybody he groups, and even though we all try, with effort we effective. But without you, we reckless. There ain't nothing greater in the world than when I'm close to when I feel your love. Yeah, I think about it, I can get enough. Yeah, so when I'm falling, can you pick me up? Yeah, we need you. I'm doing what I can so I can please you. If only we knew how much you love us, we would never, ever, ever leave you. Hands up, one more time, hey. You're the king of the world, hey. You're the king of the world. To all worth, if I don't say your name before the kings of the earth, like David, when I'm faced with the hatred from the nations, I thank you. Your glory is a light shining brighter than the sun, but I can't even see it, I just feel it in my gut. I'm a servant, please use me, take me, and choose me, cause there ain't nothing pretty in the world. Then, when I'm falling in love, your love, and I think you got it, I can get enough. Yeah, so when I'm falling, can you pick me up? Yeah, we need you. I'm doing what I guess so I can please you. If only we knew how much you love us, that we would never, ever, ever leave you. Fingers up, hey, hey. You're the king of the world, hey, hey. You're the king of the world, hey. You're the king of the world, hey, hey. You're the king of the world, hey, hey. You're the one and only, hey. MJ, you guys are like one of the most famous, famous shoes, I mean, spots ever. You know that? Every time I, everywhere I go, everybody asks me if I know Rabbi Wiles. You know, you know Rabbi Wiles, you know. You're famous, Rabbi. So I came here, I was getting ready, doing sound check, you know. I think, I think it was Reb Ezra over here. He says, you know, Rabbi will be with us in a minute. He's, you know, fixing up his makeup, everything, whatever. He'll be out and he's saying, you'll get a selfie in no time. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Baruch Hashem. We made it, we made it. I did a song many years ago that uh, was probably the first time I ever told Hashem, I want to write my own Tehillim. I want to write my own, my own psalm. I remember sitting in the studio and I started writing the song and tears really started flowing from my eyes. So I'm sharing, when I'm sharing my music, I'm sharing my heart with you. You guys mind if I, if I share with you? Okay, if you know the words of this song, sing along. If you don't, Act like you know the words, and we'll all be good, okay? Let's rock, DJ Huda. Okay, so instead of taking one finger, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna wave them side to side. If you have a phone with a light, lift up the light. Let me see the light. Lights up from side to side. Let me see you wave your light. There we go. Hey, lights up from side to side. Hey, hey, you know we're sing along. Desire that I show you, gratitude that I owe you. Cause I was in that creeper's no gone till you came and dust off and revealed my spark. I was searching for the essence of existence, wanted to find you, but I didn't see an entrance. I came from a distance where everything was different. Called out to you and you showed me that you listened. From then we became best friends and I gave my all to you and you showed me who I am. And so I am staying by your side to bask in your light and your mercy. I reside like Ty. Hey, I won't let go. Even in a million years, years. you're there when I'm up, you're there when I'm down. So I'm staying here, here. I won't let go. Even in a million years, here, here. You're there when I'm up, you're there when I'm down. So I'm staying here. What is it I can give you? What is it I can lift you? Look, when everything is 
jaws And every time I walk straight There's another door To help me achieve Everything I need and more More Nothing more Nothing less than Going to and fro Trying to hear your voice from heaven And your direction I climb But I fall flat like bread With no leaven Yeah Please come pick me up Pick me up Never ever put me down Don't put me down and bring that real me out Ho, ho I won't let go Lights up Even in a million years You there when I'm up You there when I'm down So I'm staying here Yeah, yeah I won't let go Even in a million years You there when I'm up You there when I'm down So I'm staying here Here we go. I won't let go. We been in a million, a million years. Here, here, here. Here we go. One, two, three, jump, jump. Guys, so much. Shout out DJ Who the Chris on the ones and toes. All right, we're gonna be back out and we're gonna vibe. Thank you so much. Rabbi, come up here. We gotta get pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the founder of MJE, the Manhattan Jewish Experience, please put your hands together for the one, the only, Rabbi Mark Wilde. Let's give it up for Nissim, everybody, Nissim Black. Thank you so much, Nissim. Uh, there will be more from Nissim, so stick around. We're not done with him yet. He's not finished with us. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It is such a great night. It is an awesome night. Thank you all for being here tonight. We really appreciate you being here. This is all, this is all to get ready. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Andrew. I want to thank Andrew, I want to thank Rabbi Ezra, Rabbi Ezra Cohn, who brought Nissim to us for all of his incredible hard work. We're going to thank the rest of the staff a little later, but I just want to give a shout out to Rabbi Ezra. We're all getting ready for Pesach, and I hope that you feel in some way that tonight is a way, is one step closer to preparing to leaving Egypt. We're gonna be seated around our Seder table reading about the four sons. And I wanna share a beautiful idea which on the surface can sound a little, a little depressing. And why would I bring it up? It's such a joyous night. But it's something which has been turned on its head in our own generation. The four sons. The wise son, the rebellious son, we say rebellious at MGE. The rebellious son, the simple son, and the son that cannot even ask. The late and great Lubavitch Rebbe famously taught. He likened the Chacham, the wise son, to our great grandparents. Most of us here living somewhere in Eastern Europe the European Jew steeped in the values and traditions of Torah and mitzvah. The Russia, he continued, was represented by his somewhat rebellious son. The next generation who fled Europe and came to these shores to be able to make it here and to be accepted here and began to lose their Judaism. And because they never sent their kids to Jewish schools or taught them so much, the next generation became the Tom, the simple son. And the subsequent generation the Rebbe taught, our generation, 
is she'enu yodea lisho. They don't even know enough to ask. But something incredible is happening. The she'enu yodea lisho, the young men and women who we thought either didn't know enough to ask or didn't care enough to ask, are asking some questions. The great-grandchildren of the Chacham, of the learned European Jew, they want to know why Jews? Why did their grandparents, their bubbies and zadies, sacrifice so much to stay Jewish? Why did they turn around their kitchens before Passover? They've started to express an interest in their past, in their history. They want to know why it is worth it to still be Jewish in 2023. And others, others of the great-grandchildren, they're just looking for some meaning and purpose in a very materialistic world. And they are willing to hear what Judaism has to say. I remember a number of years ago, there was a young woman who started coming to MGE. We convinced her to come skiing with us. You know, that's a very important Jewish outreach program <laughs> to go skiing. Try fundraising for that, it's not simple. And uh, I was sitting with her in Upper Vermont in the lodge and she told me something very strange. She told me that just a year earlier, this woman in her early to mid-twenties, just about a year earlier she discovered for the first time she was a Jew. She was from Tajikistan, was raised Catholic, for some reason always gravitated to her Jewish friends. She was always intrigued by Judaism, whatever little she knew of it. And of course she began dating a nice Jewish boy. And when she told her mother how conflicted she was, a Catholic dating a Jew, her mother fondly revealed that she was in fact a Jewess herself. And I'm sharing this story because even though this young woman had almost no exposure to Judaism, she had this inexplicable desire to learn more and to be connected. And my friends, this is not just happening in remote parts of the world, like Tajikistan. It's even happening in less exotic places, like New Jersey, <laughs> Westchester, Long Island, and right here in New York City. Young people asking questions, wanting some more meaning and purpose in life. Can you believe? People want meaning, they want purpose. And if we can demonstrate that Judaism has that meaning and purpose, and we, we can reconnect our tens of thousands of lost Jewish brothers and sisters. The She'enu Yodei Elisho, those who we thought would never ask, are asking, and we have to be here with answers. We have to be here with a big hug and welcome into our community because every Jew deserves an answer. That is one of the main themes at your Seder. In just about two weeks from now, when you open up the Haggadah, and you see that everybody asks a question, and no matter how silly the question it might sound, everybody gets an answer. Torah has a message for everyone, and ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that we at MGE are delivering that message. Friday night dinners, which this past year drew in over 2,000 Jewish people, we are delivering the message of Shabbos. At our beginner services, every Friday night, 6.30, Saturday mornings, 9.30, starting with music this Friday night, just for Kabbalah Shabbat. At the beginner service, we deliver the message of prayer, inspiring prayer, great kiddishes, opportunities to meet people. Our cocktail parties, our social events, we communicate the significance of marrying Jewish. Our weeknight classes, we transmit the message of Torah study. And our, our retreats, our Shabbatonim, we're conveying the message of belonging to a community. Our trips to Israel, we communicate our love for the land and our support for the state. And tonight, at this dinner, we are delivering the message of tzedakah, of giving back. I thank you all for giving back. We raised over a million dollars tonight for MJE. We have a message at MJE. I feel like I'm going to start preaching because after Nisim, I feel like I can do whatever I want now. But we have a message at MJE. 
And thanks to your help, we have successfully transmitted that message to tens of thousands of our Jewish brothers and sisters. But we could be doing more. All of these programs have been intact, most of them for 24 years. But there's always an extra seat. We could be bringing back more of our brothers and sisters. And if you just take a look, I don't know if you still have it, it's probably on the floor somewhere. The back of your program, I put five areas where we could be doing more. And I'm turning to you. How often do we have this opportunity? I'm turning to you and asking you to continue to help. Take a look at number one, one-on-one -on -one learning. If you have more of a background in Judaism, you were blessed to go to a Jewish day school, or you've spent time learning and studying and you have what to share, consider joining us on a Wednesday night and studying with an MGE from seven to eight. If you can't make it, refer someone or support us. Sponsor a Chavruta for the year, for a month. Israel, refer a friend. Everyone here has got to have one Jewish friend, never been there. Or maybe they were there on their birthright trip in 2013, haven't been there since. We're going the last week in July, an opportunity to bring a Jew back to Israel. If you can't, you can support it too. Shabbat dinners, we've got one this Friday night, Rabbi Avi on the east side. We've got one almost every Friday night. Come with them, tell them about the Shabbat dinner. It's a great entree into our community. Basic Judaism classes, if somebody is a little more intellectually oriented. Every Monday night I teach on the west side, every Tuesday night Rabbi Avi on the east side, every Wednesday night downtown with Rabbi Ezra. Or again, sponsor a class ski or spring retreat, last one. Refer a friend, sponsor someone to come. Next year is going to be 25 years. 25 years. And we want to go into next year strong. And I'm asking you to be our partners. Because we have a tremendous opportunity. And it's to share the love that we have for our Judaism and for our Jewish community with the literally hundreds of thousands of our brothers and sisters who simply do not know of it. Too many of them are off the radar. And it is our job, it is our mission, and it is our privilege. Just like when you read a great book, you see an amazing movie. What do you tell your friend? You gotta see this movie. You gotta read this book. Either you don't care about your friend so much, or you didn't like the book. If we're not sharing our Judaism, then what does it say about our own relationship to Torah and to God? We have a tremendous opportunity, and by each and every one of you being here tonight, you demonstrate that you care, that you wanna make a difference, and that you want to enable others to be impacted spiritually like you have been. Tonight, we are honoring special individuals who have dedicated themselves to our vital outreach work. They have given us so much, whether they're our teachers, whether they are our supporters, they are our beloved students. Every one of them, I thank you in advance. And we're gonna begin right now to begin the awards presentation. Thank you all for being here tonight. We're gonna begin with Natalie and David Battalion. Yes, let's give it up. A little uh, shout out to Fire Island, Westside Institutional, MDS, JCC. <laughs> uh, David who unfortunately was called away last second, but we're gonna make believe he's here. David Hales from Brookline, Massachusetts, where he attended the Maimonides School and then Yeshiva University, now serves as managing director at Cantor Fitzgerald. Natalie grew up in Montreal, went to McGill, got her MBA from Fordham, works in marketing at the JCC, right in town on the Upper West Side. Natalie and David live on the Upper West Side with their three beautiful children, Lexi, Ava, and Jacob. They all go to MDS, shout out from Manhattan Day School. They are active members of Westside Institutional and through their involvement in many charitable organizations, they teach their children through their actions to give back. Natalie actually began her involvement 
with MG after meeting a friend who was part of our community. And she then heard about our Israel summer trip. Remember I mentioned we're going the last week in July. Anyway, Natalie jumped on the chance to come. I have vivid recollections of Natalie's involvement on that trip. Joe and I were just talking about this. She was not only a pleasure to have with us, but the Israel experience deepened her relationship with both MGE and with Judaism. She began coming every Shabbat to the MGE Minyan, introduced David to us, and since then, they have continued to support our outreach and educational work in significant ways. Natalie went very quickly from being a recipient of our programs to giving back and to make sure that we have what we need so we can continue to reach out to more Jews in the city. We are so proud of you, Natalie, and your beautiful family, the way you and David live your life, how you raise your children. You have truly internalized all that we teach at MGE, growing in your Judaism and being there for our community. Thank you always for supporting us and for giving us the inspiration to continue our holy work. If I can ask you to please come forward and come with your girls. On behalf of David, Uh, this is a Seder plate. Pretty appropriate, huh? Okay. Sweetie? Isn't it nice? Okay. So, of course, you know that the Seder tells our story. The story of the Jewish people, and we want to thank you, Natalie, for helping us tell the story of the Jewish people to our brothers and sisters who may not be aware of it, but because of your support and your love, we're able to bring that to so many Jewish people. Mazel Tov. Guests of honor, Natalie and David Battalion, MGE 24th Annual Dinner, March 21, 28, Adar 5783, Mazel Tov. Good evening. It is uh, my honor to introduce Serge and Kaylee Zenon as MJE's Couple of the Year. I first met Kaylee in 2018 when she signed up to take an introductory Hebrew reading class at MJE East. It was a really fun group, and after a few classes, she even brought her boyfriend, Serge, to class as well. Serge says the first time we met was having a posthum Kippur Lechaim and Bracha, which is also possible. I'm happy to report that they both read Hebrew fluently now and that they never stopped coming to MJE classes and events. Serge and I even baked matzahs last night in Brooklyn with the MJE fellows. Shout out to the fellows. They're also married and have a handsome son named David. They both completed the MJE fellowship program with us in 2021 and are sponsors of our Wednesday night one-on-one -on -one learning program, a program that has, thank God, changed many lives. Uh, despite the intrusion of COVID into their engagement, they had a very beautiful outdoor and socially distanced halachic wedding. Then they intrepidly and bravely moved to Teaneck in 2020, where I believe I was the only person in the entire city that they knew. Since then, their friendliness, enthusiasm, openness, and Jewish curiosity have made them well-known and beloved in our New Jersey community, from the Dickerson Road backyard minion to Beth Abraham to becoming active leaders at Congregation Lev Ladat. It does not take long to realize that there is something special about this couple. They are talented in their fields, surge in business AI and Kaylee in linguistics, and they have both come from backgrounds in which they had almost no Jewish education or practice. Their love for the Jewish people, Israel, and their connection to Hashem has driven them to connect and grow in remarkable ways, to be living a fully halachic and joyous life today and to inspire those around them. From new MJ ears to lifelong Orthodox practitioners to want to connect to them and to grow in their Yiddishkeit. May they go from strength to strength. It is really an honor and a privilege to present this award to them as MJE's Couple of the Year.
Kaylee and Serge Zenon, Couple of the Year, MJE's 24th Annual Dinner, March 21st, 2023, 28 on their 57, 83. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. Before we sit down, we'd like to take this opportunity to present the Communal Service Award. One of the best things about MJE, something which has had such a tremendous impact on both myself and Kaylee, is MJE's one-on-one -on -one learning program, the Chavruta program. We first met Kevin and Allison <laughs> yeah. Give it up for Kevin and Allison. We met him three years ago on a ski retreat, MJE ski retreat in Vermont. And there was an immediate connection as we shared a Shabbos meal together. And we discussed our Jewish journey. Within weeks, we were Chavruta partners. Kevin was learning with myself and Kaylee was learning with Allison. And during COVID, we met every single week during, on Zoom. And we discussed the Parsha, we discussed Halacha, and they answered constant questions that we had about Judaism as we became more observant. Before our wedding in September of 2020, we spoke to Kevin and Allison daily as they helped us prepare spiritually for our special day. And I don't know how they had the time to be so involved considering their numerous responsibilities at MJE, the dinners and events that they constantly ran and organized, their chavrutas, their outreach efforts, not to mention their full-time jobs. You have been an inspiration to so many at MJE and beyond, and with that, we'd like to present you with the Communal Service Award. So everyone, please put your hands together for Kevin and Allison. More than we've uh, served the community, the community has very much served us. So we're very humbled to accept this award and very appreciative for MGE and the uh, community members who have given us so much. So this is a, a hollow, uh, hollow board for your Shabbos table with the uh, engraving with your name on it. Enjoy. <laughs> I wish I could just, we could continue to do this for another week. And I had a great time, and it's obvious that you know the staff here put a lot of work into it because it was so seamless. You know, this is my second ski trip. I go to a lot of MJE events. I like to think that you know I'm a part of the MJE community, and um, you know, seeing everybody here being part of it, this is why I keep coming back. It's not the experience, but who you experience it with. And uh, I came here, met a lot of new friends, and you know, as I said, Friday night, some ships are made out of metal, some ships are made out of wood, but the strongest ships are made out of red. 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 As COO and someone who has worked at MJE for over 20 years, people often ask me, how does MJE gauge its own success? Tonight, for sure, look around you. Thank you for making it, this evening, this dinner, a huge success. But how does MJE gauge success? So I respond, well, 
we're still here. Since 1998, 24 years, we didn't just survive the pandemic on the streets of New York and in Central Park, but we thrived each and every Shabbat praying. I mentioned the programs that we have, 800 plus a year, serving 20,000 attendees. I then mentioned the marriages, 384 and counting. I mentioned the Torah study, weekly over 100 students and yearly 16 classes of fellowship. We have definitely fulfilled the mission of MJE, connecting young Jewish professionals to their heritage and to their community. But that still does not include what I believe is the single greatest accomplishment, and that is cultivating and ensuring the passage of our tradition to the next generation. The pictures you see above of brisses, of sitter parties, aw, bar and bat mitzvahs, they are the reason that MJE can consider itself successful. When our alumni are living lives as committed Jews, passing Torah Judaism that they experienced, learned, and were inspired by at MJE to their children, then yes, I believe we have succeeded. May we continue to share in each other's smachot as we see the success and the eternity of our Judaism being lived out, not just in the here and now, but in the next generation, Midor led door. Thank you to MJE for truly changing and shaping the course that my life would take. The Shabbat meals, all the holiday celebrations, all the community events brought me back into the Orthodox community. I want to give a huge shout out to Rabbi Wiles and to Jill on inviting me into their sukkah so many years ago. That is where I met Josh. So thank you very much for that invitation. I wanted to wish all the honorees a mazel tov. We are very excited and honored to be part of this celebration tonight. And congratulations to MJE on 24 years of true great success. Thank you, MJE, for so much, so much you've brought to both of us. Now we have three beautiful children, Jackie, Michaela, and Violet, living in Great Neck, going to Jewish Day School. Without MJE, we literally don't know where I'd be. And uh, one of the cool things about MJE is that everyone who comes through MJE's doors has a story. I had my story, Tilda had her story, and everyone at the dinner has their story. Everyone has a story that's unique to them. There's a common thread. Is everyone comes to MJE looking for something, looking for an experience, looking for inspiration, looking for guidance, and MJE gives it to us in many ways, in all sorts of different ways. Everyone gets to learn at their own pace, go as far as you want to go, the MJA fellowship, ski retreats, spring retreats, learning with a Chavrusa, all of which we did for so long, making great friends the whole way through, to really forming a community. And really, it's a priceless time. We look back on that time with fond, fond memories with all of the many, many MJA staff. It's not only Rabbi Wiles and Jill, it's not only Rabbi Feldman who brought me in back on the east side, but it's hundreds of staff members, the Chazanim, the lay people, all the people, thank you very much. We appreciate you. And. Good? Okay. I said that was nice. Uh, Tova. Yeah. Grew up in Bayside, Queens, and then the holy city of Great Neck, Long Island. Graduating as a, 
There's a lot of great neck here tonight, just saying. Graduating from North Shore Hebrew Academy, Ramaz, and then a gap year in Israel. Tova studied speech and language pathology in college, earned her master's at the MGH Institute of Health Professionals, helping young children with speech, language, and reading difficulties. More recently, Tova volunteers at her alma mater, North Shore Hebrew Academy, and of course, Great Neck Synagogue. Josh. Josh. Grew up in Andover, Massachusetts. Went through the Andover public school system. Got his BA in economics from the University of Michigan using, thank you, using his degree to pursue a career in theater and film. Woo! Yeah, he did so much with that. <laughs> <laughs> After multiple roles, waiting tables, bartending, appearing at the occasional trade show as Mr. Potato Head, Josh found his niche in recruiting and is now a partner at the technology recruiting firm AC Lion, established by our good friend Ozzy Cutter and Mike Adler, who is here tonight. Now, as you heard in the video, Tova and Josh met in 2006 in our sukkah on Shemini Atzeret. And I have this distinct memory, Josh, of you standing very awkwardly outside the sukkah because it was packed and it was filled and I invited you, kind of knowing it was filled already. Um, and man, am I happy I did. You were patiently waiting for another chair to be brought in and then you and Tova just got to talking and the rest, as they say, is uh, Jewish history. MGE became Josh and Tova's new spiritual home. They came every week to learn, every Shabbos to the Minyan. Josh completed the MGE fellowships with Rabbi Pinney. And finally, in the summer of 2008, Rabbi Jonathan Feldman, who is here tonight, welcome Rabbi Jonathan back from Israel. And Jonathan and I had the honor of officiating at their wedding. Tova and Josh currently live in Great Neck and are the proud parents of Jacqueline, Michaela, and Violet who all go to North Shore Hebrew Academy. They are surrounded by family and are active, we wanna welcome their families that are here, active and thriving Jewish community in Great Neck Synagogue. I wanna re recognize the presence of Rabbi Dale Polakoff, um, Ellen Polakoff, Rabbi Rebetzin of Great Neck Synagogue, also Yitzi and Rachel Spinner, who are the chazen of Great Neck Synagogue, all here tonight to show you honor. Tova and Josh, we are so proud of you. You have become true role models, raising your children in the ways of Torah and mitzvot, and you possess another important quality, Jewish quality, and that is Hakara Satov. You have incredible gratitude, and I want to thank you for taking this honor so seriously promoting this dinner so much, working your relationships, encouraging your friends and colleagues to come and to support us. It means the world to us. And I thank you both very, very much. Please come forward for your well-deserved honor. Laganza <laughs> Mishpacha. Thank God. Oh, wow. Kanayin Ahara. So this is a menorah. You've seen this before. What do you think? What are you gonna say? You do like it. It's nice. We didn't put it in like the fancy glass thing, you know, that they do at dinners because we wanted you to actually use it and they usually break anyway, so. Anyway, um, we hope that you, next Hanukkah, Bizrat Hashem, if you'll grace, if you'll use this menorah, we hope you'll think about whatever light we were able to give to you guys. You do? You'll take this? <laughs> He's accepting the menorah. It's incredible. Um, all right, you just let me let me start over. Um, we hope that you'll think about all the light that maybe we gave you guys, and the light that you and your family have given back to us, and are now sharing with the broader Jewish community. Thank you so much for everything you do for Klal Israel. <laughs> Guests of honor: Tova and Josh Marmer. MJ's 24th annual dinner, March 21, 2023. 28th of Adar 5783. Mazel tov.
not my forte. Um, I just need to find you. Where's Alyssa? Okay. I am so honored to be presenting the Chavruta of the Year Award to my dear friend Alyssa Tannenbaum and her amazing Chavruta, Abigail Rosenberg. Just by the way, the root of the word Chavruta is Chaver, meaning friend. I'll get back to that. It's hard to believe that Alyssa has been coming to MJE for almost 10 years. Before coming to MJE, she had no formal Jewish education, and now she has completed the MJE Fellowship Program in 2014-2015, senior fellowship for years after, and even met her wonderful husband, John, at MJE. <laughs> Another one. I actually suggested the idea after hearing John give a Dvar Torah at MJE one Shabbat morning, not knowing they had just started dating. And uh, shout out to Anat and Gabe because they actually met, uh, they actually started dating after their Shabbat meal. Um, okay. So Alyssa has been coming to MJE ever since, attending our classes, retreats, and the MJE minion, even with her kids Avi and Hannah in tow. In her professional life, Alyssa serves the Jewish community at the JCC as well, Woo! Woo! of the Upper West Side. She is smart, dedicated to her Judaism, committed to Torah learning and spiritual growth. Alyssa is being honored together with her mentor, Abigail, Abigail Rosenberg. Abigail grew up in Toronto, has a strong Jewish day school education, and currently serves as a social worker. She is warm, smart, and sweet, making her a perfect learning partner for Alyssa who shares the same qualities. Of the dozens of, of Chavrutot present, presently at MJE's one-on-one -on -one learning program, Alyssa and Abigail hold the record for the longest one. <laughs> Wait, let's hear this. Learning ever since 2018. That's five years of learning. Their dedication to Torah study is nothing short of inspirational. They've continued to learn through it all. COVID, the birth of two children, their jobs, and all life's ups and downs. Abigail and Alyssa role model dedication and consistency, two traits necessary for true spiritual growth. Their chavruta has developed into a deep friendship, one that truly exemplifies the root word chaver, and nothing can be more real than a friendship built on Torah and growth. Please come up from your award. We are so proud of you both. May your learning and friendship continue. Um, Abigail Rosenberg, Learning Partnership of the Year, MJE 24th Annual Dinner, March 21st, 2023. I can't read the rest. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Okay. Alyssa Tannenbaum, Learning Partnership of the Year, MJE 24th Annual Dinner. I really can't read it. March 21st, 2023. Okay, I didn't bring up my glasses. Okay.
This year's MJE Student of the Year Award goes to Gabrielle Weiss. Where is she? She's affectionately known to us all as Gabs. She hails from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and graduated with a degree in communication studies from Pace University in 2019. <laughs> Since then, Gabs has worked in the Israel education and advocacy arena. She currently works for Club Z as the New York regional manager, where she cultivates the next generation of fearless and proactive Jewish Zionist leaders. Gabs came to MGE with a tremendous interest and passion to learn more about Judaism. She joined our one-on-one -on -one learning program on Wednesday nights in October of 2021 and learned each week with her wonderful Chavruta and mentor, Jasmine Pellet. While being very involved in many other Jewish organizations, including Olami Manhattan, Gabs manages to continue learning Torah with her four other Chavrutot throughout the week. On Shabbat, Gabs can be found hosting many MJE participants and encouraging those with less of a Jewish background to join MJE's classes, dinners, and social events. Her involvement with MJE has had a profound impact on all of her teachers and friends. She has become an important part of our community as a true role model and lay leader. Gabs is currently in MJE's year-long Rabbi Lamb Fellowship and continues each week to learn Wednesday nights in our one-on-one -on -one learning program with Jasmine and then joins for our fellowship classes. In doing so, she has developed herself into a true Bat Torah, a daughter of Torah, and such an inspiration for our entire community. Gabs is intelligent, inquisitive, and always yearns to deepen both her understanding of and commitment to Torah and mitzvot. I've truly enjoyed our learning sessions together as I've been able to witness firsthand some of the deep, sophisticated, and important work that Gabs has involved herself with every day in developing her relationship with Hashem and refining her religious character. We are all so proud of Gabs as she takes her Torah learning to an even greater level now in the land of Israel. She plans to start learning at Midrash Rachel in Yerushalayim right after Pesach. Gabs, we all love you, and it is an honor to award you MJE Student of the Year, of which you are so deserving. Please come up. <laughs> Gabs, on behalf of all of us, your friends, and many fans at MJE, we are pleased to present you with this Tanakh, from which I know you will learn and grow for many years to come. May you continue to immerse yourself in the wisdom of our Torah, and may Hashem enable you to find everything you're looking for and all the goodness that you truly deserve. Mazel tov. Thank you. Thank you, Hani. Imagine one day you woke up and realized you weren't actually Jewish. Would you continue your life or would you confront the challenge you're faced with? About a month ago, I was sitting at a Shabbat table in Krakow, Poland, and I was asked this exact question. Everyone around the table began pondering. What would they do? Would they continue with their day or would they be up for the challenge? Little did everyone know I was faced with this exact challenge. During my sophomore year at Pace University, I found myself heavily involved in Israel advocacy organizations and campus Jewish life. I wanted to grow in my involvement, so I applied to go on a program to Israel. I was immediately denied without explanation. When I reapplied the following year, I was told that my denial the previous year was due to the fact that my mom was not born Jewish. Suddenly, I went from the young woman whose entire identity 
was centered around my Judaism and my Zionism to being told that my identity was a lie. For about two and a half years, I wrestled with what to do. I ultimately made the decision to go forward with an Orthodox conversion. The road was anything but smooth, yet nothing the Jewish people have endured ever has been. I went from B teen to B teen, learning how to take in and take on the halacha I was learning, all while building my involvement in Jewish communities. There came a pivotal point in my journey that I felt coming to a halt. Each time I went to a meeting, something went wrong. The bus wasn't running there. I couldn't get out of work for the day. Friends found the whole process to be foreign and so much more. I grew frustrated with myself and in turn, I pushed myself away not only from the conversion process, but my own relationship with Hashem. I remember there was a night where I sat with my rabbis and chavrusas in tears asking them what to do. I realized I spent so long learning the laws, how to do this versus that, how to spend my time and what not to do, that I was missing a key ingredient all along. My rabbis suggested I take a break, think of it as a hall pass. During the two week break, I spoke to a close friend who pushed me to call the one and only Rabbi Mark Wilds. For the first time in a long time, I opened up about my challenges. Rabbi Wilds gave me two essential pieces of advice. Number one, be open to God even when it seems he is not open with you. And number two, come to MJE for Wednesday night's one-on-one -on -one learning. <laughs> the rest you could say is history. I am forever thankful to Rabbi Wilds Rabbi Avi, Rabbi Pinny, Rabbi Ezra, Rabbi Moshe, Rabbi Kevin, Jill, Shauna, Allison, Rachel, and Leah, this year's fellowships class, of course, and the wonderful Hani Perlman, who introduced me to my chavrusa, Jasmine Pellage Schwartz. Every Wednesday for almost two years, I've learned with Jasmine, who I'd like to give a special thank you to. Your patience for me has never wavered. Your dedication to spreading the light of Torah has allowed me to teach others so much of what you have taught me. You always tell me that it is, that it is me who is learning from you, rather I from you. You've taught me so much more than the Malacho, the Parsha, and Hebrew. You've taught me what it means to be a Jew. Thank you. Now, this wouldn't be an MJE event without a little bit of learning. The Gemara cites that Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Eliezer both said, even if a sharp sword is resting upon a person's neck, he should not prevent himself from praying for mercy, as it is stated in the words of Job. Though he slay me, I will trust in him. Even though God is about to take his life, he still prays for God's mercy. Even when it feels that God may be against us, that is when we should call out to him the loudest, you just need to find an opening. The Midrash on Song of Songs says, Open up for me like an opening in the eye of a needle, and in turn, I will enlarge it to be an opening through which wagons can enter. Once I began opening up, I realized that the key ingredient missing all along was my own relationship with Hashem. God just needs an opening as big as the eye of a needle. If we take the initiative and allow God to enter our lives, even if it's only through the opening in our hearts, we can see the power of God. The challenges I faced pushed me to open my heart to Torah and to God. If I hadn't, I wouldn't be here today. I am proud of the challenge I faced. My conversion is my proudest accomplishment. <laughs> my bracha to all of you here tonight with us is that when you are faced with a challenge in our Judaism, in our relationship with God, we should remember that we are standing on the shoulders of giants we too can be a lamp lighter. We just need to find an opening and call out to Hashem. In about two weeks time, we are reminded to sing the Shana Haba'ah Berushalayim at the end of the Pesach Seder. Next year in Jerusalem is taking on a whole new meaning for myself. As Hani mentioned, I am proud to say that I will be going to Israel in about a month's time to learn <laughs> in Medrashat Rachel Vachaya in Jerusalem. I couldn't be possible without MJE, and I'm looking forward to continuing on the path that they've built for me. Thank you.
Just remember the name Gabs Weiss. I mean this. I have a prediction. Please, God, in some time, Gabs Weiss is going to be a great leader in Israel. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, I know this has been long. We're done. We're, we're, we're finishing up. Um, I want to begin our descent with some thanks and then a little more music from Nissen. Uh, I want to start with our dinner chairs, Jessica Morgan Richter and Ariana Shudrick. Ariana Shudrick. I want to wish Jessica a mazel tov on the birth, Jessica and Saul on the birth of their baby boy who's here because how she's supposed to run the dinner, baby's a few weeks old. It's unbelievable. Jessica, thank you so much. Ariana, thank you so much. You pulled it off. Such an extraordinary event. Such a great evening. Where are you, Jessica? Thank you so much. Kalaka vote to you. To the exceptionally talented staff with whom I am privileged to work, our COO, Rabbi Ezra Cohn, whose uh, stellar leadership, devotion, creative programming has enabled us to grow He's 100% in, and I thank you, Ezra, wherever you are, for it all. Thank you, Stephanie, for Ezra. Thank you, Rabbi Ezra. Seriously, there are no words. Kalakavo to you, man. Um, I want to thank Rabbi Penny Rosenthal, my dear friend and colleague. His awesome teaching, his leading of MJE's senior fellowship program in person and on Zoom, and his incredible halacha chat, which you should see if you can get on. It's quite the rage. And I want to thank you, Rabbi Pinney, for all of your devotion and love. To Rabbi Avi Heller for his amazing work on MGE side. Whoa, the fellows. Also runs our fellowship program. To Rabbi Kevin and Allison. Rabbi Kevin and Allison. For infusing our community with their incredible Torah their beautiful energy. Thank you so much for giving of your hearts and for making such a difference to our community. Hashem should bless you and your entire families. Shago mechayel el chayel to your next step in life, please God. Mazel and bracha, friends. We thank Rabbi Moshe and Shana Davis. Moshe and Shana for making such a beautiful difference in our community. To Dr. Adina Berkowitz for her stellar teaching and being a counselor to so many of our participants, want to give a mazel tov and a shout out to Aaron Bluestein for rocking one-on-one -on -one learning. Aaron uh, just got engaged to Leora. We want to wish them both mazel and bracha. And thank you, Leora, for everything that you do as well. We should go mechayel chayel, as they say. Uh, to Leah Hashimi. Leah Hashimi. Thank you, Leah. To Deb Riker, Rachel Ben Lisa, Josh Abelson. Personal note: I would like to thank uh, my father, Mr. Leon Wiles Yibadel Chayim. Unfortunately, couldn't be here tonight, but I wanted to thank him in absentia for his extraordinary love and support, and for continuing to be the greatest guide that a son could ever have. I want to thank my brother Michael, who I love very much, my sister-in-law Amy for their love and support, Mom Aleha Shalom, I know is smiling with us tonight, shepping nachas and marveling at all the new people that are now part of the Jewish community because of the work that MJ is continuing to do in her memory. May all of our efforts and success serve as an aliyat and shema for Pesel Avigal Bas Menachem, in whose memory this entire program is dedicated. Acharon, Acharon, Chaviva. I just want to thank Jill, who hates... Who, <laughs> um, who doesn't like getting up in public and doing things in public, but whatever it takes, as they say. Uh, it took a while for me to do the math. I do this every year. It's pretty accurate, actually, even though I'm not good at math. 
Since 1998, Jill has cooked for and hosted over 19,000 participants at our Shabbat table. It's a real number. That's a lot of duck sauce chicken. That's what we serve for 19,000 people. She continues to tirelessly serve behind the scenes for the betterment of MGE. She stays up late at night on one project and the next is up the next morning counseling somebody through their often complicated relationships, stewarding MGEers through their often complicated spiritual growth. This community could not have a better role model and I could not be blessed with a greater partner who was with me 100%, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Thank you so much, Jill, for giving of yourself to our community. I want to thank my son, Ezra, who's representing all the others <laughs> who are in the Holy Land of Israel for initiating a very special program every Shabbat. Additional reading, we call it. <laughs> it's another article. <laughs> always pushing me to teach more, give them more substance, Abba, they can handle more, it's too much fluff, it's enough with the singing and the dancing, teach, learn, what's going on? It's tough. Uh, thank you, Ezra, for helping me. I mean that, and for the next book, please, God. Um, I also wanna thank, um, I forgot to thank you, Andrew. Um, yeah. Andrew Hershkowitz, was responsible for a lot of the nonsense we put out on social media. Um, it's good stuff though, and it brings Jews in, so you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna ask everyone to uh, please rise for the singing of Atikva and for a little more singing in general. Um, I hear we have a wonderful chazan with us, Yitzi and Rachel Spinner. I'm gonna ask Yitzi to come forward. It's the chazan of Great Neck Synagogue. I hope somebody asked you to do this. If not, you're the chazin of a shul. You know, you should know how to sing a tikva. So come forward. There you are. Okay. Are you guys ready for Nissan Black to come back out? I said, are you ready for Nissan Black to come back out? Stay on your feet, because we're about to jump. Okay, everybody! One last go around. I'm going to need everybody's crowd participation for this one. Here we go. Hey. This is the world makeover. Mashiach will come take over. You ain't gotta be me, I'll see what I see. All you gotta do is take a look forward. Lift up your eye to the sky, spread out your hands, say thank you, smile. Get them up, get them up, leave them up, pa ha. Yup, yup, pump up the volume every day. See them place, heart racing, no words to say. Pressure building, trying to hold my face. And my mind is drifting like none today. Pick up from everything. Break out your 
just yell and scream Hashim, you're the king Hashim, you're the king Everybody Hashim Melech Can't hear you Hashim Imloch Le'olam Can't hear you Hashim Melech Hashim Malach Hashim Imloch Get up, up, up. Everything's always the same. I wanna get Turn that up back and up. leave. Now we're standing here, and the night's so clear, like the shine upon your crown. Crank, crank, yeah, we're up so high in the midnight sky, and we'll never come back, come back down. Hashem Melech, Hashem Malach, our father, King David's rock, your honor. We give our lot the stronger, we clean you drop. The blessing, the bracha, success, hot slacker. The world is yours, you offer it to whomever calls you. Hashem Melech, Hashem Malach, Hashem Imloch, Le'olam Ba'eh. Hashem Melech, Hashem Malach, Hashem Imloch. Right here, like we're gonna get my right here. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna take a time right here, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wake up, my friend, we gone. We praising the shit with all of our soul. The creepers is fighting, we know. We raging the war, we won't let them go. Even if the world don't turn, the fire will burn. The ace can be a core bond, so sacrifice. Yeah, put ace on me, we clapping loud. Screaming loud, we gonna take that crown. Bring it back straight to the king. Then we bow, mouth who can queen. Yeah. Pick up a mitzvah, we'll lay down the hate All on my bar, all on my say That feeling is great when we can say Praise our shit, his name is great, 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 great Here we go, so we go. Like the shine MJ, you guys ready to jump? jump. Yeah, we're up so high You ready? The midnight sky And we'll never Rabbi Wiles, thank you. Your father should have good health and a speedy recovery, but not to share. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our program. Please join us downstairs where an amazing dessert reception will now take place. Once again, an amazing dessert reception and open bar now available. Please join us one floor below on the ninth floor. Once again, thank you for coming to support MJE, the Manhattan Jewish Experience 2023. Thank you and good night.